So this is a 2007 F4000R uh, where the hub has decided to uh, let go, or rather the bearing inside decided to let go. As you can see, it's caused a massive amount of damage to the hub. Inside and out, and also to the axle. Certainly shouldn't be looking like that. And the other piece of damage was caused to the caliper flange. None of which can be reused. So I'm going to replace it all with a 2010 uh, hub and axle. And I'll show you how it's assembled. Fortunately, there was no damage to the swing arm. So what I've done is I've given it a good wash down uh, to get rid of all the swarf that was inside, clean, and I'm just going to give it a quick dry with my uh, dryer, just to make sure that... This is the hub I'm going to replace with. Uh, it's from a 2010, I think it might actually be 2012. Um, it's got a slightly narrower spindle to allow a larger bearing. And there's two needle, be needle roller bearings in this hub and a, a further small bearing for retention on the end. So I'm just going to So this is the 2010 hub that I'm going to install. I've had all the spacers out, flushed and greased uh, using uh, lithium high performance bearing grease. Uh, as per the spec, uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of grease around all the edges that come into contact with the swinging arm. So. It's also important to make sure you put it on the edge where the caliper flange goes as well. So we've got nice good contact there. And we're just going to do a little bit of a, a smooth round. In here as well. So once we've done that, it's just a case, simple case, making sure that all the spaces are in the right place. Simple case, as it says. Popping the hub in. There we go. Fitting nicely. I'm going to remove my screwdriver and plastic tabs that I inserted. And there we go, the hub is in. Right, so the next thing we've got to do is uh, put in the two pinch bolts, just to bring a little bit of grease on the end. Don't do them up tight yet. Okay, 
bracket, which I've lightly greased. I've also had the O-rings out and uh, given them a good grease before putting them back in. Um, put on the first little spacer washer, thin space washer. And then, okay, should just pop on. says there we go that's on and there's a, another space of washer to make sure it's into the recess all the way around. Right, so the next mess is to install the spindle. Just gonna put a bit of light grease over the spindle, being careful, obviously not to get it onto the disc. So just be careful it doesn't push the spaces out. There we go. Job done. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is put the sprocket on. Um, it's really important if you're doing the uh, doing the mod um, that you use a stepped spacer because the axle is slightly thinner. Don't use the original spacer, washer, and the top hat just slots straight in to the hub, like so. I've greased the splines already and I've greased the sprocket and just gently slot it on, like so. We add the thin washer and the nut. I'm gonna tighten that later once I've got the chain on. Now it's just a case of chain back on which is much much the way the same way as when you're adjusting the chain to get to your six mil from the bottom there. Okay. So the job is now complete. I didn't bother to uh, video all the uh, putting the wheel on and doing the nuts up because that's all pretty straightforward stuff in the manual anyway. So hope this was helpful. Job done. Let's go and see how it goes.